I'm in chapter 9 of uh, 2 Samuel, and uh, David is asking his servants if there's anybody left from the house of Saul, anybody else in Saul, Saul's family that's still alive. And uh, they said, yeah, there's Jonathan had a son, and uh, he was crippled. His name is Methibashish, and his father and his grandfather had died when he was seven. And uh, so David calls for him, and he basically gives him all of the land that was previously owned by Saul and Jonathan, and lets him meet at his table, basically adopts him. And uh, he's just really, you know, grateful. He, he holds himself, you know, face down in front of David, thanking him. And I'm thinking, you know, this, what David's done is changed the way things, the, the, the way the things the Jews did. The, the one guy that, that uh, you know, killed the grandson of, of uh, the son of, uh, Saul, who was also crippled, stabbed him in his bed, cut his head off, brings it to David, like, look what I did, I killed your enemy's son. And, uh, you know, and David's like, man, that, that, that ain't, that's not what I'm about. And, uh, you know, the guy was probably, the guy could have been led right, you know, uh, had the right expectation. Imagine what he could have done, right? And so I'm, I'm reading... Um, this book, The Power of Words, and it's talking about how, you know, affirmations and, you know, when you say words of meaning, you know, you can change the way you think. And then I'm listening to Bruce Lipton, who actually says your way you think and your feelings, your, your habits, your surroundings can change your DNA. Scientists used to think that your DNA was set and directed you, but now they're finding that your environment actually uh, influences your DNA. And so what David's done at this point, and you know, it happened with Abraham and um, you know, Noah for sure, right? And uh, and Jacob and Joseph, the they changed the way things were done remarkably. Okay, uh, and so according to Bruce Lipton, it's changing the DNA. That's phenomenal. That that's an amazing, right? We. We are not, you know, there's so many people you can tell when they're stuck in their subconscious mind. But when you, when you get them to, to look forward, you let, get them to see what, how would they want it to be. That, that act of getting them to look forward, look to the future, look to possibility is changing their genes, changing their DNA. If, you know, if you, in four months, you can change everything about yourself. If you change what you eat, you change your activities, you will physically, your, every cell in your body regenerates in like four months. And that's that amazing? So you can actually become a new person in four months. That's how long I've been actually reading the scriptures and meditating every day is the last four months and uh, you know looking at the scriptures and seeing when the the principles of the Bible are operating out of their subconscious mind or their conscious mind at this point David is way out of his subconscious mind David is is looking forward he's done he's doing all kinds of, you know, he's, 
he's making things the way he wants them to be for all of Israel. It's a, it's phenomenal, right? So having this epiphany uh, last night, I talked with David Caballero. Uh, we went over to his house last night, watched the fight last night, watched Manny Pacquiao um, pretty much have his way with uh, Keith Thurman. And Keith Thurman was talking so much garbage. And I just, you know, and you just can tell. You just can tell when somebody's running their mouth and talking crap that, yeah, they're hiding something. You know, they're, they're, there's something, you know, and this kid was undefeated. And uh, Pacquiao put him down just for the first round. He didn't finish him, but he, uh, yeah. Bam! Right then, that first round. And then the fight was really not very technical. It was, it was kind of boring to watch, but um, Pacquiao, you know, established a He's like 40 years old. Right? And, uh, and this guy was undefeated, a lot taller, you know. But but Pacquiao has, you know, changed. I mean, I, to, I remember him in the beginning, right? And he's gotten way more technical, much stronger. Uh, you know, he, he he just knows what's going on, how to set up his punches, and uh, you know, it's it's in him. That that whole renewing your mind. Just just imagine. I'm going to read the Bible. I'm going to read the Bible every day for six months. And I'm going to meditate. I'm going to pray. Right? And you will change. In four months, you are not going to be a, the same person. You go ahead and take the, the effort to figure out what the right things to eat during that same time. And uh, you, you, will, you will totally change physically, mentally. Everything about you will change. Your heart will change. That's incredible. You, you will be a change agent, not just for yourself, but everybody around you. That's what I'm getting out of reading the scriptures right now at this point. Chapter 9 of Second Samuel.